Hey everyone, so we've got a comparison here of what you've been asking to see. We've got the OnePlus 3T going up against the LG 6. So both of these phones top of the line specs, best on the market. Snapdragon 21 processor and 6GB RAM for the OnePlus 3T, 4 for the LG 6. Now I don't think that either one of these phones is watching speed test comparisons I put them through. Uh, there's been some comparisons where they kind of tied, like they would win certain areas, lose other ones. But again, don't think everyone is lost. So it makes this a really interesting matchup here. And you guys saw there, G6 first one to boot up. So a quick look at the design of phones. So you got a slightly larger screen on the G6. 5.7 inches versus 5.5. Also higher resolution on G6. You have 564 pixels per inch. 401 on the 3T. And you guys see there incredibly small bezels on G6. Front facing camera on the 3T is 16 megapixels, 5 on G6. Look at the bottom. So you got speakers and USB C. Look at the side. Look at the top. So both phones do have headphone jacks, fortunately, just on the 3T located at the bottom. And look at the other side. And then the back. So on the 3T you have aluminum design here, very good material. And on G6 you have glass, and then metal on the sides. So beautiful design as well. Um, and in terms of rear-facing camera, so on 3T you have 16 megapixels, and on G6 you have two at 13, one is wide angle. And finally, fingerprint scanner located right here on G6, and on the home button on 3T. All right, guys, let's get started. So we're going to start off here with Temple Run 2, and as you see everything's closed out. Now this should be a little bit faster on G6 for Temple Run 2. I uh, did do a practice test before filming this. So yeah, it looks like G6 a few seconds faster. Oh, and forgot to mention at the beginning of the video when we did the boot up. Uh, I think the G6 is the fastest Android phone out of all of them to boot up. Because as you guys saw, it did beat the 3T, and previously I think it was a 3. Uh, previously I think it was a 3T in terms of boot up for all Android phones. All right, NBC News next. Pretty close, maybe a slight advantage there for G6, but again, very close. Let's go to iFunny. Looked like a tie. YouTube. G6 there. The calculator and clock, these ones should be the same. eBay. Again, that looked like a tie. So far, extremely close test. Ashfold 8. Now, this one should be the one plus 3T. So yeah, we got 3T here by a couple seconds. All right, a few more, and then we're going to move on to more stuff. Photos. 3T. CBS Sports. Wow, yeah, extremely close once again. Now, I, yeah, I guess on 3T, you do have this... Was well, a little bit slower voting up, but of course voting up different stuff, including that at the bottom. All right, so just a couple more, and then we'll move on more. Settings next. That looked like a tie. And here's the intuitive benchmark. So for 3T, I believe this is the highest score for any Android phone, 169,000. And on G6, you see a little bit lower, but still very impressive, 156,000. Next, let's do Chrome. Just going to go to a few sites here. All right, guys, so let's go to a few sites. Let's go to Amazon.com first. Pretty close, I think, a little bit faster there on G6. Next up, let's go to GameStop. Just 
So again, I think a little bit faster there on G6. Let's do NeoGap.com next. That one looked a tiny bit faster on 3T. And let's do one more. Let's do Fox Sports. Well, yeah, extremely close. A little bit faster there on G6 in terms of loading that last ad. All right, guys, so obviously web browsing neck and neck there. Same with the apps. We've got a really good matchup here. Um, really not much difference between the two phones so far. But we got a few more tests planned. So next up, let's do Fingerbit Scanner. So again, on the 3T located right here, and on G6 located on the back. So this is just going to be testing out the speed. I do prefer the Fingerbit Scanner on the 3T. I think it's the best on the market, but I'll let you guys check it out for yourself. So no contest here. As you guys see, it is a 3T. All right, let's do camera speed next. And I will have an actual comparison on my channel. Now, guys, I do prefer the camera on the G6, uh, rear-facing camera. Uh, both of them, both the wide angle and the standard lens. Um, definitely in terms of pictures. But this is going to be speed. So it looks like the 3T may be a tiny bit faster there taking pictures. But it looks like on the G6 you are able to take more pictures in rapid succession. As you guys see there with 3T. Uh, struggling a little bit for taking a lot of pictures at the same time. Alright, so part of a lot of you have been waiting for multitasking. We'll do that in one second, but before that, let me just go over more of the specs. So, cover the cameras, the screens. In terms of internal storage, 64, 128 gigabytes on 3T, 32 or 64 on G6. On G6, you do have micro SD card support. On 3T, you don't. Battery size, 3400 on 3T, 3300 on G6. Again, both Snatch H21, 6 gigabytes RAM on 3T, 4 on G6. Now, G6 is waterproof, 3T is not. Uh, both USB-C and in terms of pricing so G6 is going to be a few hundred dollars more expensive uh, 3T is an excellent deal for the price that you're getting starting at $440 alright guys got what all you want to see multitasking and I just went through and opened up a few more apps just to make it a little tougher because I know both these phones are excellent multitasking but as you guys can see uh, all the same stuff that we had up previously all right, so let's start off with the toughest one first. Going to go all the way back to the beginning and do Temperon 2. All right, so interesting here, you see on the, uh, the 3T, it is reloading the game. On G6, just starting from the title screen. So yeah, guys, I mean, in terms of multitasking, I think the best phones I've used are G6, HCU Ultra. Uh, 3, uh, 3T is still pretty good, but you see an issue right here. Let's do some more though. All right, next up. Let's do NBC Sports. All right, so that one was a little bit faster on 3T. I funny. So that one was G6. eBay. Got G6 there. You do. G6 there. Let's do Ash Fold 8. So yeah, so far it's looking like probably the G6 for multitasking, but still a few more to do. Alright, so that one was 3T. Let's do Chrome. Three T there. CBS Sports. 
All right, so this one also restarting on the uh, on the 3T. And let's do one or two more to camera. All right, so I think that one was the uh, one plus. And last one. Let's do a base one. What's your settings? All right, so that one I think was 3T. Now, multitasking I think was pretty close. I think I would I would hand it to the G6 just because it did not reload the first app, Dump Run 2. Uh, also, there was another one that the uh, 3T did reload, but very, very, very close. Obviously, the 3T did win a few for multitasking, so pretty impressive there. Now, guys, both these phones, top of the line in terms of speed. I mean, really, there's not many phones faster than both of these. So you guys can let me know in the comments which one you think won. Uh, I think it was one of the closest tests I've ever done. I mean, the boot up, that was G6. Um, if you do fingerprint scanner, that was uh, the OnePlus 3T. But aside from that, a lot of it was pretty split. Again, you guys let me know in the comments what you think. But obviously, you really can't go wrong either way with these phones. Now, I will say, if you care most about performance, uh, you don't really care about the other stuff on G6, like, you know, the cameras. You don't care about the waterproofing. Uh, you don't care about the design, having the glass and metal design on the back and the ultra small bezels. Then you may want to save a few hundred dollars and get the 3T. Now, personally, between the two phones, I do prefer the G6, but of course, it does cost a few hundred dollars more. So you, uh, you definitely do have to take that into consideration. So yeah, guys. I mean, again, obviously, both these phones extremely fast. Can't go wrong with either one of them. Really, you have to give a lot of credit for the 3T for putting up a really good performance here, uh, considering how inexpensive it is. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Now, I do have a lot more comparisons on my channel with both these phones versus all the other major flagship phones. And also a lot more plans, so please subscribe to see that. Alright guys, thanks again for watching.